Okay, uh, I'm going to make this little short video uh, just to kind of make my point uh, about uh, the lay of the land around here. I live in La Crosse, Wisconsin. I'm about a mile or two from the Mississippi River. And um, basically the lay of the land is uh, I'm in the valley, the river valley, and there's on both sides of the river there is... Uh, uh, there, uh, I'm down in the valley, and then the bluffs go up on both sides to where the river cut through millions of years ago, uh, cut through uh, and make the valley. But the bluffs are about six to seven hundred feet high, and then uh, down under the ground is uh, some of the biggest iron ore deposits, uh, at least in North America and possibly the world. And um, I've been noticing since I got back into radio that I have a really bad uh, propagation here. Conditions are terrible here uh, several months out of the year. And I'm thinking that it's got to be, some of it's got to be from all this iron ore in the ground. And this here, this is a rock. I found this just walking around. I found this walking up actually the driveway. I live in a trailer park. found this walking up the driveway. Uh, just laying there with some other gravel on the on, on the on the driveway there, the the road, little road, and uh, this is this is quite heavy for a rock of this size. It's heavy, solid. You know what I mean? And you just have to feel it. But look at the color. It's uh, kind of an orangish uh, red. Uh, it's smooth from uh, just where it's it's it was on the surface. You know, so it's uh, been worn down from erosion and friction with other stuff on the whatever in the dirt, and um, and it's actually it's uh, kind of magnetic. I've got a strong magnet, but you'll never be able to see that on this uh, on the camera. It won't show that. It won't pick it up. Uh, it's just. You know, when I hold the magnet near it, you can actually feel the attraction. But look, here's a uh, here's an old uh, compass I got. It's a nice big one. Uh, it's some kind of a rescue boat compass. Came out of a rescue boat back around the turn of the 19th century, 20th century. But watch this. See what I mean? It's got iron in it, is all I'm saying. That's all I'm pointing out here. This has iron in it, and this this flat end here seems to be the, uh, I guess, the south pole of it, because that's the north pole of the compass, so opposites attract. Okay, turn it around, watch what happens. Kind of See, it pushes it away. So uh, this 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 would be the North Pole of the rock. Okay. So I, anyway, I just kind of uh, kind of wanted to show you that. Now uh, now I got my big magnet here. It's an old speaker magnet. Just hangs out on my refrigerator. But uh, this is a uh, you you won't see the effects, I'm afraid. But see, I I can feel it laid on there, boy. I can I can yeah. See, it it just almost took it out there. Just almost took it out of my finger. You know, it's not much. as I don't have any trouble picking it away. Pull, See, I can feel it really good there, but uh, there's no way to show this on the camera, but I'm just saying, I, I can feel an attraction there. Anyway, just wanted to show you that, and uh, if you go to Google and look up iron ore rocks and go to the images section, you'll see rocks that look very similar to this, 
not the exact shape of course but you'll see rocks that uh, people have collected look very very similar to this okay let me uh, process this and get it on YouTube 